Hey everyone, this is Etho. Welcome back. It's playtime. Get your snacks and let's go here. Um, haven't been using the cow farm much lately because uh, I don't have a renewable source of wheat. I still have... Well, actually, let's go check. I still have uh, a big reserve of it. But I can't get any more once it's out until I make a wheat farm again. Yeah. Like, I got a pretty good supply here. But I've just been eating spider eyes because I like them. <laughs> and I gotta get rid of them. Otherwise, I'm just gonna have to toss them or something. I don't know. Uh, this cave area is coming together pretty good. Uh, I'll probably fix this uh, UFO thing. People say in the new snapshot releases that I'll be able to get the farm working again, like the wheat farm part of this. I don't know if that's true though, because I think if the cows are jumping up and down like they do, I think that'll still trample the farmland. Even though they can walk on it safely, I think jumping on it will trample it, from what I've heard. So, it probably still won't work. But, uh, I'll probably fix this UFO up and... On the walls here, you know how they're all messed up right now, I plan on putting some pixel art from Harvest Moon, the SNES version. Uh, probably have a picture of corn and a tomato. That's what I was planning. We'll see how it looks. Uh, the cave area is really coming together now, this part of it. I will be moving this thing because it's bugging me a lot. I have to move it one block to the right and then two blocks this way to get it where I want it. Sorry, I didn't gesture there, did I? Two blocks this way. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Uh, I did do some changes to the potion room. I like it a lot more now. Got rid of the lapis. Before, this was iron, and this was the lapis. Now I have nether brick, and this is the iron blocks. Looks a, a whole lot better, in my opinion. But I'm still going to make some adjustments in here yet. Uh, again, over here, this was iron before and this was lapis, and now uh, switched the iron with nether brick and the lapis with iron blocks, and I really like it. This used to be sandstone, now it's nether brick. Uh, if I do keep the black wool, it matches with the black wool a lot better, but this wood has to go, or I think it should anyway. I'll probably just use stone bricks for the rest of this. It'll kind of match the rest of my cave that way too. And I had a fire here actually. <laughs> That's why this is like this. But it put itself out, thankfully. I didn't see it happen. It, I just walked here one time and it was, oh boy. Part of it burnt down. Uh, I still haven't closed this area off. Oh yeah. And uh, as was suggested by I think two people in the comments of last episode, I set up a spike pad thing here to align myself. So now I don't have to look at my feet where I'm standing. I can just walk up or run up and I'll be in position automatically. And I can hit all the buttons. I can get all the potion stands or brewing stands. When I walk away, they go down and it doesn't really wreck the pixel art floor like I was afraid of. I still haven't put the wool behind the chests, but I have figured out which pieces I'm using. And that's the potion room as of now. Oh yeah, one other thing. Come on, come on. I used the uh, nether brick stairs for where these signs are. I think it looks better than just using solid blocks. Gives it some depth. But uh, yeah, there'll be something above here and then it'll connect to the top. Might try stick some flowers or something up above or maybe trees, just something ornamental. Alright, um, project for today, what are we doing? Oh, actually, you know, one more thing I should show you. I've been doing a lot of enchanting lately. A lot of mining and a lot of enchanting. I got so much stuff again. Hello. Um, redstone supplies back up. Uh, got lots of iron. 
whole lot of shiny rocks. The blue kind. Um, oops. Yeah, so that's pretty good. I've been doing enchanting. Every time I enchant a diamond pick, I get fortune three. I got four of them now. So, that's awesome, but I don't think I'm going to... Mm, like, I don't think I'm going to use them just for fortune. I think I'm just going to use this one as a mining pick, because I want an efficiency one, and I just can't get it when I do the enchanting. And for the project today, we're going to be doing a slime farm. Is what I'd like to do. I'm going to set it up right over here. It's going to be a copy of this station. So we'll have one of these things right like over here. And it'll, it'll match the wall pretty good. And there's a slime chunk uh, just a few blocks further that way. The rumor I've heard... I forgot to drink my swiftness potions running around like an idiot here. Uh, the rumor I heard is that slimes will spawn at level 40 or below. From what I can tell, that's true. Because uh, I've seen slimes spawn at like level 39 or 40 in my world, and no higher. So it's probably true down here. This is where my mine is. This is where I've been getting all the diamonds and stuff from. And I've got it inspired a little bit by Vex and did his 3x3 three three system here. Just to give uh, the corridors a nice feel, and then I'll do branch mining. And I'll probably be using these for rail tracks, these 3x3 three three corridors. Alright guys, I think we're ready to start building the faceplate here, so let's tear down this wall. Uh, and we're going to try copy this one exactly, or close to exact. Um, this is going to be a problem, though, because I want to put glowstone here. And that will let light into the cave spider thing. So, I'll have to place some blocks here, which will slightly decrease the spawning rates of the spiders, but uh, very minimal effect. We need to do that to block the light. And I'm going to put another brick in the back. Like that, so it's very similar to that one. Um, put our iron bar. Uh, I brought a button with me. So we'll set up that piston pusher thing. I think it went back there. So, and then there was redstone above there. Oops, yeah, there we go. Cover that up. Uh, let's check it. It works. Okay, so then we'll have... Let's see. This lever turns the spiders on or off, so we'll, we'll have one here as well. To turn slimes on or off. The slime fern on or off. We'll probably have to flood the pads to do that. Hopefully we can figure something out. Uh, we're going to be dropping little slimes onto the iron bar here. We'll probably have another lever to control whether uh, we kill them with a drop or if they just collect here so that we can kill them ourselves for a little bit of XP. The mini slimes, they only drop one XP. While regular mobs like the spiders, they drop five, so it's not a huge way of getting XP, but there'll be lots of them. Uh, I guess we can do our glass thing like we did there. Like so. And we'll just drop them down here. Okay, so now that we should work on the spawning pads and then hook it up to here. The spawning pads are going to take a long time. It'll be a lot of digging, but uh, we'll see how it goes. 
Yeah, so I use the Slime Finder uh, app website. It's basically a calculator that uh, that runs an algorithm to find all the possible slime chunks in your map. And uh, this is one of the slime chunks here, which I have just finished hollowing out. Uh, it started at negative 304 for X and 192 for Z. And then it gets greater. So go, goes 16 blocks diagonally. That's how I hollowed out the space. And I'm just waiting to see if slimes actually do spawn in here. So uh, give me a minute and we will figure that out. Well, so much for a few minutes. That was a few hours, and we only got one slime in that time. Uh, good news, I was able to get a new pick. Efficiency 4, Unbreaking 3, that's what I want. wanted. A good pick that will last a long time. Efficiency 5 would have been perfect, but I'm not greedy. Uh, I'll probably actually have to hold off building this slime farm today because there's just not enough I know about these guys. I have to figure some things out. Like, uh, this guy's trying to get to that corner for some reason. I've been watching him for a few minutes here and he's constantly trying to hop to that corner. Uh, I'm over 16 blocks away from him now so he doesn't see me. I'm curious if I let him track me and then get 16 blocks away if he's going to return to that same corner. And why is he going to that corner? Oh, he's still tracking me. Darn it. Uh, the other thing, originally I was thinking I would just have s small slimes here. Split them down at the spawning area and then have them come up a ladder or something and drop them down here thinking of having multiple levels of the slime farm. Uh, now, I'm kind of thinking I'll try to get the big slimes here too and just have one level. Possibly. Like I said, I have to figure out what I'm doing here. So, is he tracking me or what's he doing? I should dig through. Let's see, let's count the blocks. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Should be out of range. What's he gonna do? So now he's favoring that corner. So I don't know why they do that. Can he attack me in here? I don't think you can. It's only if they can get up to your head. Uh, another theory people have is that maybe... Like, these guys can spawn anywhere from level 40 and below, but maybe at the higher levels their spawning rate is decreased. Like, uh, this ground could actually probably go up two more blocks. So my head's at uh, 40.6 instead. But maybe at 40.6, the spawning rate's a lot lower than if you're at like level 10 or something. I did catch this guy too. I don't know where he came from. So, I don't know. I'll figure some things out. I had an idea for like a rough comparison we could make um, for the spawning rates of the different levels for slime farms. So before I was waiting for slimes to spawn in that other farm, I made sure this one was cleared too. So there was no slimes in here. Uh, we got one or two up at that other one there. They're both about the same size, but this one's two levels. And there's three there were three slimes here. So, I don't really see any difference in the spawning rates for the different levels, so I think it's about equal no matter what the level is. Just from this rough comparison, this isn't a very scientific way of figuring it out, but 
It's good enough for me. Because this is two levels. There was three slime here. The other one had was one level with one slime. So, yeah. It's about the same. And, of course, there's going to be small differences. But if there was, like, 20 slimes in here, obviously the height level would matter. And this is uh, Y13. And this is Y9. Okay, so I think I figured out what I want to do here. Uh, I'm going to remove three blocks up in this square I have. Uh, then I'll probably fill in two blocks. So this area, everything you see here, I'll probably have to fill in again. Which sucks, but it's probably the best thing to do. And then I'm going to put uh, three wide water canals all the way around. The 16 by 16 chunk. They will funnel the slimes to this corner here. And then I'll have uh, a staircase water system to bring the slimes up uh, to this area here. Something that will carry the the big slimes, the medium slimes, and the little slimes up to this point here. And I'll probably modify this faceplate um, somehow quite a bit. Don't know exactly what I'm doing. And then we will s take it from there and see how it works. That the thing is, there's this annoying thing about mob systems now. The mobs, passive mobs and hostile mobs, will only move around if you're within 40 blocks of them. So if I dig a slime farm near uh, bedrock, uh, it's not going to work. It's not. They're not going to be able to get transported up to here because they'll probably be too far away. Because uh, we go 40 blocks down then they're out of range they won't move and there's no way they'll find their way up here the other thing is sorry I keep wandering around here the other thing is if we're standing here oops this is going to be a problem the mobs the slimes will have to be 24 blocks away from us to spawn and our y our z coordinate is about uh, let's say 170 it's 170 and our slime chunk is just over here what are we at uh, 192 oh, that will actually work that's about 22 blocks we need them to be 24 blocks or further to spawn so that will actually work no no problem there might be a little bit of area where they won't spawn because of that, but uh, that's only if we're right up front there. If we're like at our potion room or something, it's not a problem. Okay, so I'll play around with it some more, and I'll see you shortly. I got it done. Went really quick. This pick is great. Uh, made the job go really fast, and it's got a lot of le life left to it, so really happy about that um, this spawning pad for the slimes is 16 by 16 in size uh, we got a three high clearance here uh, our Y coordinate is at 40.6 so before I advance this project any further I just want to make sure they can spawn at that height level um, so before I do the water canals I want to make sure of that We'll probably end this project here for today, just so I can monitor it. Uh, then we will have the three wide canals here. They'll be able to move the big slimes around. And there's a two block drop for right now. And they'll bring the slimes to this corner here when it's all done. I'm going to block this area off, so if any slimes spawn in here, They'll stay in here. I'll be able to check. They won't be able to wander away or anything. And when I said 40 blocks b before that number, uh, I guess that's not really the actual number. It's just approximate. So don't take that as the actual number for 
how far mobs can be before they stop moving. I don't know what the actual number is. Um, what else? What else? I hope I aligned this properly. Uh, this is really hard to explain. It's confusing. But, uh, so our X is at 288 and our Z is at 192. Both those numbers you can divide by 16. That's how big a chunk is, 16 by 16, and you'll get a whole number. Now the other thing is, if you go to this corner, like down here, 304 and 208, you can also divide those by 16 and you'll get a whole number. So how do you know where it should be one block shorter? Um, I think the way you're supposed to do it is the way I have it here, where the lower number is where you start. So 192 gets bigger as you go that way, and 288, the absolute number gets bigger as you go this way. So I think that's how you do it. And so it ends at an odd number, 303, and, and then over here, I believe, is the next chunk. I think that's how it works. I, I could be wrong. I hope I'm not. Yeah, that's this for today. I'll check the time, and if we have some time left, we'll do something else. Uh, the episode's getting a little bit long, but we're gonna we're gonna go exploring for maybe five minutes or so. See what how far we can get in five minutes. Uh, I actually don't do a whole lot of uh, exploring off camera. I've kind of been saving it for for the show. I want you guys to see the world too so that you can get an idea of the bearings and all that uh, but what I'm really looking for is a snow biome uh, I also want to check out the mountains around here because they're pretty amazing it would be really nice to find a village just for kicks um, what else did I want to find stronghold but uh, need ender eyes for that which I probably could get enough of now. But yes, snow biome is the big thing. Ooh, is that a giant floating island? I think it is. Yeah, it is. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's huge. Wow. Oh, stupid chicken. Okay. That's pretty awesome. Uh, we're we're not really looking we're not gonna look at the mountains today too much just wanna focus on finding a snow biome because then we'll get snow blocks we'll get uh, is this the ocean? pine trees get snow blocks we'll get we'll be able to make snow golems uh, I'll get these fancy trees with dark wood and all that which is important although I guess you don't need a snow biome for that this is where I can get them to. What else did I want? Oh yeah, another big reason I want to find a s snow biome is some people are saying Silk Touch does work on ice in 1.0. So a lot of people are saying it doesn't, a lot of people are saying it does. I have to see it with my own eyes because I can't trust anybody when so many people are saying different things. Uh, because what it could be is that you can't place ice blocks in the nether. I, I really think that was removed, but it's possible some people are confused that maybe maybe you still can get ice blocks. Is it just me or is the grass really green here? Oh, hello. Nice ravine. Um, I'm really afraid it's just going to hit the ocean. Time for a spider eye snack. Uh, another thing I want to talk about. Uh, talking to B00 the other day. And as many of you know, I have a lot of trouble getting my videos approved for ads on YouTube. And B00 had a really interesting thing to say that maybe 
The reason I'm having trouble is because there's a show on YouTube called Let's Play Minecraft. Like an actual show. And he said that maybe when I upload my Let's Play videos that YouTube automatic filtering or whatever detects that maybe I'm uploading or reposting whoever's show that is that I'm reposting their videos and it gets flagged and has to go through a longer approval process maybe this is a huge desert really flat um Yeah, so this is my plan. I'm going to try upload my Let's Play videos under a different name and see ooh, if that has an effect on the approval time. Because I notice when I post legendary episodes, they get approved a lot faster. That's very strange. So I think I'm going to title it uh, Ethel Plays Minecraft as my Let's Play instead of Let's Play Minecraft and see if that works better. If you guys have a better idea for a name, let me know. Otherwise, it's going to be Ethel Plays Minecraft from now on for my Let's Play. Alright, well. Ocean. I should probably head back because it's half day. And that was probably three to five minutes. Uh, what is that? Is that stone? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna head back. There's one last really important thing we need to do before we end this episode. Uh, we did all these wonderful baby trees. Tons of new donors again, guys. So let's go through the names. Starting with this one. Um... On the way back from exploring, there is like nothing but desert. So, uh, if we go exploring again, we should go a different direction. Would have liked to find a snow biome or something, but uh, wasn't too lucky there. Those mountains were cool, though. Uh, another thing, I'm going to be putting my world up for download again. So, check the video description. Hopefully, I remember. I'm uploading it right now actually but sometimes I forget to put in the link and that will be that so many people so many donations so many kind people um hmm. what else what else I think I'm out of things to say. Those five minutes of walking took it out of me. But if I stall just a little bit longer, we'll be done. <laughs> Alright, there we go. That's everybody. Thanks, guys. The tree farm is full, so... I don't know. I guess I have to extend it again. Oh! This is pretty... There's a lot of hollow space here, so it won't be too bad. Or I might just start a new tree farm somewhere else. I don't know what to do. This one's getting huge. <laughs> huge, huge, huge. Amazing. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again next time.